Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Goddess. I'm Nye, and we are, uh, we're not doing too much right now, actually. We're trying to get ourselves a 2100 followers, and we are actually getting, uh, very close. As you can see, I kind of did a lot of work, uh, while time was, uh, passing by for us. Uh, one of the biggest things I did is I got all of these little, uh, land expansion god cards taken care of. So, oh, nice. Okay, so there's a, uh, I was actually about to talk about that. You know, we were, our previous gem location where we were getting all of our gems earlier has actually been completely and utterly exhausted. And, uh, so I was kind of wondering what we were going to do about that, considering, you know, <laughs> lack of gems is kind of a big deal. But, uh, looks like we have found ourselves another, uh, another set of gems. Okay, it's not letting me, uh, why aren't you going to let me... Okay, I gotta mine that out before I can access that. That makes sense, so we'll go do that. So what I wanted to ask is, while I'm working on uh, doing this, you know, I gathered that, uh, you know, watching me do all this may not be the most fun thing in the world for you guys, and I can understand that. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm clicking a lot, but I'm not really getting, we're not really doing anything right now, because what we're focusing on right now is really we're just getting a lot, a lot of land, and that's about it. So I did want to ask you guys, do you want to see me continue to, you know, terraform and just sort of talk out of my butt like I have been doing for the past couple episodes? Or would you prefer me to take my time, get myself up to, uh, you know, like we're, we're going to hit Bronze Age today. That That's going to happen. So uh, don't worry about that. I'm going, that, that's my, um, that is my goal for this episode. I don't think I'm going to have any problems doing it. Uh, I have a bunch of land expansions available to me, so, I mean, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be getting a lot of uh, resources here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just, I'm hunting down all these cards, and we're getting all of them, and we'll be prepared for uh, Bronze Age as soon as it happens. So, that's what I'm doing right now. But the question is, do you guys want me to do this sort of thing off-screen, or do you want me to continue doing this on-screen as I have? So, uh, I'm not going to record any more today like I normally would. I'm not going to get, uh, you know, ahead. Ooh, we got some more. Awesome. We got some more gems over here. So, I'm not going to record ahead of time like I normally would. I'm going to pause a little bit um, and just sort of kind of give you guys a chance to respond before we get to the next Sunday stream. So, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section telling me if you would prefer... God, there are gems everywhere around here. Look at this. This is fantastic. But uh, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know if you would like me to continue uh, showing every step of the way in the uh, videos as I have been. Or if you would prefer me to uh, just get us to the next area where we're actually going to see cool stuff like, say, Bronze Age, things like that. Now that's all done. Uh, I did spend a lot of time doing a lot of terraforming uh, in the fairly recent past and uh, got myself as many men as I could. So we're up to about 2007 out of the 2100 that we actually need to get ourselves uh, the next, uh, growth, and then actually get ourselves Bronze Age. Looks like I cannot access this thing. Yeah, I can't access that one right now, so we're gonna need, uh, to mine out that section, which I guess is actually a pretty cool thing. I kind of like it that the developer chose to do that, uh, because, uh, you know, that encourages you to keep mining one, and you need all of those, uh, you need all that, you need all the gems anyways, so it's not that that's a small thing, but, uh, it's also kind of cool, you know, that they say, okay, if you want to, if you want to get this stuff, you got to explore, you got to expand as, uh, you know, you may not want to do, you know, you're gonna do it if you want these resources. That's kind of interesting. So I've also been told that things can get a little bit hectic when it comes to the Bronze Age. There's glitches in the Bronze Age, apparently. Okay, I cannot touch that at all because it's completely underneath uh, gems, so we'll have to work on that. I was actually, I'll be honest, I was concerned earlier uh, when I found out that we had completely mined out the previous gems area. I was concerned that I was going to have trouble finding gems because it seemed like, you know, gems could be under mountains. And, you know, am I going to have to search underneath mountains? Am I going to have to lift entire mountain ranges just to find uh, some gems for myself? I was concerned about that. Oh, I, th I guess we should uh, deactivate totems so these guys can actually get to stuff. So I was a little bit concerned about that. But uh, thankfully, no. We'll be able to find gems. It's good. But I was told there's going to be a lot of glitches in our very near future. So kind of be aware of that, guys. There uh, will be glitches that we're going to have to deal with. It's going to be something that's not going to really be uh, in my uh, control at all. Okay, there's a card here. Am I able to... Land expansion. Fantastic. That thing was just outside of our range when I originally got it. 
Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's awful. Okay, so I just got the land expansion card from here, but because it was not in my, uh... It was not in my actual land. It looks like I'm not going to be given credit for it, so I don't get to expand. That's terrible. Okay, how about this one? Is this a land expansion card? There we go. So we exp just expand it again. So we're expanding everywhere. Like, we have expansions all over the place. And, uh, wow, would you look at all this space I just gained uh, that I don't really have to work for. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're up to two, uh, 2014 in terms of men. I am kind of... Uh, of the opinion that I should be just spamming men out of these houses over here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of make sure that we get uh, houses going as fast as possible. Just get ourselves up to that uh, requirement. Get ourselves up to the 2100. And uh, it's kind of going to be a bad idea. Uh, this is not a smart idea by any means. I really should be focusing on uh, leveling out places as I have been in the past. I really should be focusing on playing intelligently. But I really want to show something happening here. So, I'm not going to play intelligently. I'm going to give myself work to do later on. Uh, but uh, I can accept that. Wow, was all this area opened up by that same land expansion card? I don't know. It kind of feels like I haven't seen this area before. I don't know. Oh, this is the land expansion card that was over here. Okay, I gotcha. I understand. Okay, well, I, I know where I am now. At least I know where my camera's hovering over. There are some people who are uh, dying, and I'm not quite sure why these people are dying. Uh, it's a little bit concerning to me, but we do have 178k. So, uh, in uh, 178k in uh, faith. So, I can't say I'm too concerned about losing faith, at least. Uh, are there any more cards I have to get? There are a ton more. This looks like there's several more in this area. Two right next to each other. Uh, that sounds good. Let's pick those up. So now we got beaches. Our followers, uh, our followers like beaches, right? If I remember correctly, our followers kind of love beaches. They think that their god said to go to the beach, and you know what? I can't exactly blame them. This is actually a really nice looking beach. I would love to, like, vacation here one day. Uh, you know, that'd be, uh, that'd be kind of fun. Okay, are you guys, uh, okay, you guys are doing your thing. That's good. And we are just looking for places where I can toss housing plots down so we can, you know, do some more rapid expansion. Uh, that is my goal, and I am sticking to it because, as I said, I want to hit, um, I want to hit 2100 today. I want it to happen in this episode. Though, as I'm going through, we're already halfway through the episode. We haven't exactly done much, so it may be that it doesn't happen this episode, uh, mostly because I'm focusing on, um, I'm putting a little more focus on finding all of our resource cards uh, than I am uh, opening up new areas. There's Pie Town. Uh, I want to get rid of these rocks. There we go. Let's pull that back. And I was kind of holding off filling in these plots, but let's go ahead and fill in the plots over here and just get that done because it's going to be a couple uh, free houses for me. Look how many people we're getting out of here. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, I like that stuff. That is a lot more followers right there that just occurred. So one of the things I was told by Agamemnon, who has basically been my uh, source of information in the very recent past, though uh, uh, I really wish he could tell me why all of a sudden like we had trees and flowers and chirping birds planted all over the areas I had previously cleared, but uh, I've been told that uh, it does not matter where you place a uh, settlement as long as you place it. Like, th there's no... Uh, oh, that's, oh, crap. No, crap. No, 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 no. No, no, bad. Bad, but bad. I need this to go away. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's open that up. Got myself some coal. I'm assuming I'm going to need that later on. But, yeah, I've been told that, uh, all my careful work to make sure that I have level 5 plots to put, uh, to put these, uh, settlements on has been wasted effort on my part, and that, uh, it didn't matter in the slightest. You can imagine that I am not exactly happy about that news, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I've also been told that doing fast little... Okay, this might actually be faster. I've told that fast little clicks like this might actually open up places faster, and you know what? I can't but agree. Uh, this does seem to be moving faster. Let's move out. There we go. We got a rank four. That's only rank four? That should be rank five. 
That should totally be a rank 5. It was rank 4 before I did that, wasn't it? Okay, well, let's open up some space here. Hopefully, I can get that to rank 5. We'll go let some guys fill that in. Because that could be pretty neat. There's a rank 5. Okay. So, we're at about the 10 minute mark. So, I'm not quite so sure about the whole uh, potentially seeing uh, 2100 right now. Though, believe me, I am trying. I am pulling out the stops to make sure that we get to 2100 before the episode is through. I'm just not sure uh, if it's actually going to happen. So, we're seeing it. I really, I want to get to Bronze Age. You guys have no idea how much I want to get to Bronze Age. We have been in the primitive age for the past month. Uh, going at 15 minute episodes, 15 minute intervals, we have been in the primitive age. I want to actually have some, uh, you know, some not primitive thing. I want to not be using hatchets. I want to have fire. I want to have, no, they had fire in primitive age. But I want to have copper. I want to have metal tools. I want to have spears. I want to reenact three, the movie 300. You know, I want to have this stuff. And uh, we don't have it. You, give me people. We are so close. We are less than 50 people off of this. And uh, people off of this, is that, doesn't that sound like a Sesame Street character or is it just me? But um, we are very, very close. Let's uh, continue moving this. Yeah, this is actually faster. I was thinking that uh, this would be a little bit slower. But doing it like this, just rapid clicks and drags like this, seems a lot faster than what I was doing previously. So we're going to open up a bunch of beachside property. We're going to charge a premium for it. And, uh, you know, if you want to come surf, guys, you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to pay the toll. You're going to have to pay the piper. You're going to have to pay for ticket prices. But I'm not sure. That uh, that water looks pretty... Uh, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. I want, I want this to be... I want the beach to be out. Give me more beach. I want all the beach you can give me, but I want less... I want more cliffs and more beach. We may go cliff diving in the future. That sounds like a cool thing to do. Have you gone cliff diving? Uh, I did. I, I actually. Uh, I have gone cliff diving on very small beaches in a place called Blue Hole, New Mexico, when I got certified to be a scuba, uh, scuba diver. And that was. Uh, it was kind of fun, though. My uh, my dad freaked out when I did it. Then again, I was like what, 14 or something like that, and I was kind of just diving off it for the sake of diving off it. Didn't have my gear on or anything. It was just like, well, in I go. And that was freezing water too. So, I'm not sure if I was the smart kid or the dumb kid by doing it. But all the adults were doing it, too, you know? So, I guess it's okay. Okay, let's drag this out, see if we can get ourselves a couple more houses down here. Come on, give me another plot. One more plot. Just, no, no, I don't want you. I, I don't want you. I want you to go away, and I want this area to fill in and give me another plot. Excellent. Okay. Let's get some more flags flying. Get some more people showing up. I am getting so close, guys. We are so close to hitting Bronze Age. You have no idea how excited I am about the potential of this. Got another flag. Let's drag these out. We got a... You know, the, the uh, five-star plots, I'm excited for them, but the problem is, you know, they take forever. And uh, we don't have forever today. We don't. I, I don't have forever to record today. I got a... I gotta get these recording sessions to happen, so we, uh, I cannot wait forever for a five-star plot. I could wait for a three-star. I could wait for maybe even a four-star, because that doesn't wait too long. But a five-star plot is just, uh, that's not in the cards. So we're going to have to, uh, let's move a totem down to here. Let's activate it. Let's send some people down there to get some stuff done. Okay. So, uh, that is working, but I need a lot of one-star plots. That's what I need right now. That is my focus right now, is to get myself... Some one-star plots that we can fill in real quick. Okay, you guys have people. Let's uh, let's make this happen. I'm gonna just go click drag real quick. Click drag. Click drag. Click and drag sounds like some sort of e-cigarette, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, when I say e, I mean the e in the same way as I say email. You know, that sort of e, just electronic. You know. That sort of E. But, uh, and not the, you know, E as in the pill you get at raves. Does that actually happen, or is that just another one of those stereotypes that always shows up? I'm kind of curious. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to me in the first place. I couldn't care less. It's not my scene. I don't care. But I am kind of curious. You know, I'm kind of curious about those, uh, th those stereotypes and the potential validity therein. Okay, so we have, uh... 
go ahead and drag these back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drag back. Let's go. We are so freaking close. Give me a thing. I, I can't get this cliff to fall back. It's just not happening. Look at this. Look at this. Look, this, this is me dragging. This is me not getting anything out of it. You, you. Come on, give me some more houses. Let's get these level ones going. Okay, these I might have to do a longer drag than the other ones. But we are, uh, we're getting there. The light blue is all the, it's all the way up, guys. It is all the way up. It's just a matter of actually getting butts and pews. It's a matter of getting people in houses. So that way we can make sure that stuff is happening. We are losing some people to death, but, uh, I don't know what they were doing, and quite frankly, I don't care. This is evolution at work. This is survival of the fittest. The dumb ones stand underneath a cliff and die. The smart ones go and kill the dumb ones. And then, uh, I don't know, bury them in a place where they won't, like, become zombies later on. It would be really dumb for, to, to, you know, to, to die to zombies. Just gotta think about that. It's like, that's not even survival of the fittest. That is, that's the, that's the dead being the fittest. And that just doesn't make any sense. You know, think about that for a minute. If zombies took over the world, right, what exactly would survival of the fittest mean anymore? Because then it's not survival. They're already dead. You know, they're, it's not survival anymore. It doesn't work. Okay, look, why are you, okay, there's, there's a flag, okay. Come fill these in, guys, come fill them in. I want you in these, I want you in these houses. I don't even care anymore that they're one star. I just want people to live in them. So that way I can see that number go from two, uh, 2080 up to uh, 21,000. I saw in one of the patch notes that you couldn't even get 21,000 uh, guys at one point. I wonder if that was, like, the limit was lower than that? Like, you only had to get, like, 1,800 guys to reach this point? Or if that means that there was a glitch saying you couldn't get it, so you couldn't even get past this point? Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, you know what? I'll work over in this area, I guess. So let's drag all this back, make some areas for houses. You got the heartbeat in the background letting us know that we are so close to this. You, give me dude. This is fast becoming, like, the biggest settlement out here. This place right here. Give me flags, flag, flag, flag. Okay. But this is this is the huge settlement area right here. This place is this place is nice. Okay, we're up to 2088. 2088. We're almost there. I'm gonna let this episode go on for as long as possible so I can get us into the Bronze Age on this episode. This is it. It's happening today. It's happening now. We are gonna get there. 2091 says the counter. Give me more. More people. We'll upgrade the houses later, but for now, I want to see this happen. And you know what? This we're gonna do. Settlement, right there. Let's do it. Give me my people. Let my people go. Come on, upgrade those houses. Yes! 28, 29, 2100. God card for manners, which is going to be our next upgrade. Let's unlock mud bricks. Go. Uh, whatever that is. Plaster? Clay. Go. Lumber. Go. Mahogany. Okay, fine. I don't care. And uh, this is going to give us a bow type rank 6. Birth rate is low, but belief rate is huge. Okay. Give it to me. Yes! Commandments. The holiest land to settle upon is that of the uh, deserts and shores. No! I was looking at my commandments, damn you. I hate it that it does that. Okay, farming. We just unlocked farming. So farming, we need... We have the pickaxes. I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming we're gonna have to get that through, um... I'm assuming we're gonna have to get that through battlers. Uh, battles. Let's go back here a little bit. Okay, so trees must be respected and not reaped unthinkingly. Rocks, unattractive as they may be, must be respected as if thy god. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't believe in that. <laughs> like, we did... I didn't set those. Okay, so we got to go find leaves. We have stuff that we're going to gain. Uh, we're going to get a gem of purity. We're going to get a golden idol, a small mineral deposit, follower clan. Sounds pretty cool. Followers returning from battle come to live in your home world. Fantastic. Uh, and the gem of purity. Use your mouse to create clouds to put out fires and boost your growth of crops and trees. Awesome. We're going to get seeds down the line. We're going to get papyrus. We're going to get leather, copper. 
Uh, and then that's going to be the first section of the Bronze Age. But that is going to be next time, guys. We're finally going to work on this. Again, leave comments in the comment section if you have ideas that you would like to give me. Most especially telling me if you want to see all of the terraforming done on screen. Or if you would prefer that I do that off screen so that way you don't have to wait on it. And then uh, also do leave comments just telling me how to do my job better. Uh, you know, following Agamemnon's example, he has been absolutely awesome. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And if you'd like to be informed of when my videos go up, as they do every single day, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom there. And uh, I will see you guys around whenever next time is. Ta-ta.